Hey what is up guys Drool here with another Photoshop video tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how to create this text effect and first of all we are going to create the background and then we will create the original text effect and after that I will show you how to create this flares inside Photoshop to make your text look even awesome. So let's get started. First of all we need to create a new document and for that go to file create a new document for the width I am using 190 pixels and for the height I am using 180 pixels which is standard HD. Now for the background I am using this texture that I downloaded from deventart.com and if you want the download link is in the description it's totally free. So I am gonna bring this texture into my document and I am gonna press ctrl T to transform it the way I want and when you are happy press enter to confirm your transformation. Now the texture itself is really bright so for that I'm gonna create a new adjustment layers and I'm gonna select hue and saturation and turn down saturation up to like 40-50% and after that I'm gonna create another adjustment layers and this time I'm gonna select curves. In the curves create a dot on the top portion and bring down highlights a bit so that we can see all the details that we lost in the shadows. Now I want center part of the image to be look brighter and the edges to look darker and for that I'm gonna create a new adjustment layer and select gradient overlay and in the gradient I'm gonna select default black to white gradient but instead of black color select a darker gray color so we do not get really dark black spots and hit ok. For the gradient style I'm using a radial gradient and you can always invert it if it looks something like this and adjust the scale until it looks something like this hit ok and put your gradient layer on overlay so it will create a light is coming from the top and it will make edges look darker and now we, our background is almost ready and after that select your first layer hold down shift key and select your last layer and press ctrl G it will put all the layers in the group so it can be really easy to manage them and you can always go back into group and double click on any layer and change it anytime you want so that's why adjustment layers are really helpful. So we are done with our background and we can start working on our actual text effect and for that I am using font called Imputa Bangis and if you want to download the font the download link is in the description. Now type in your text and adjust it the way you want and when you are satisfied with your adjustment double click on your layer and select gradient overlay. I'm gonna apply a darker red to lighter red gradient and if you want the codes the darker red is 6C0909 and in the lighter red the code is AD1C1C. The opacity is 100%, style is linear, the angle is 90, everything is default and after that select satin. And in the setting I am using blend mode overlay with black color. Opacity is 63%, distance is 7 and the size is 21. Now make sure that your distance is smaller than your size otherwise it will start to create pattern that looks something like this and we do not need that right now. So after that uh, hit OK. Now duplicate your layer you can do that by pressing Ctrl J and after that hide your original layer. Then double click on your duplicate layer and hide all the effects and make your fill opacity 0. And after that I am going to apply a stroke. I am applying a inside stroke with white color and keep one thing in mind that this stroke is going to be your still layer. So the bigger the stroke the bigger your metal border will be. So adjust your size and the stroke and hit OK. After that create a new blank layer. Now hold down your control key and select your stroke layer and press control E so it will turn it into a shape layer and this way we can apply some layer styles on this stroke layer. And keep one thing in mind that after following this step you, know, you cannot edit your text anymore so make sure your spellings are right before following this step. And after that double click on your layer, the stroke layer and apply a gradient overlay. Now in the gradient I am using this metal gradient and if you don't have that gradient you can click here and select metals and so this way you can use the metal gradients that comes inside the Photoshop. Everything else is default and after that apply inner glow and in the inner glow instead of the default yellow color I am using a cyan color and hit ok and I am using the choke 0% and the size is 8%. It's on the edge, technique is softer and everything is pretty default. 
and after that finally apply a drop shadow so we can separate the text from the background and for the shadow I'm using multiply mode with black color and we adjust the distance and size the way you want and after that hit ok now it's time to add some depth in our text and for that duplicate your stroke layer and remove all the layer styles and drag this layer below your original text layer so order will be like your stroke layer your original text layer and then this layer and after that make sure you have selected your marquee tool and press your down arrow key three to four times so it will look something like this after that double click on your layer and apply a color overlay with black color then apply drop shadow and in the drop shadow I am using white color on normal blend mode distance and spread are zero and use a really big size so instead of creating a shadow it will help us to separate our text from the background and it will also add some depth the text effect is ready and it's time to create everyone's favorite lens flares and to create lens flares create a new layer and fill in the black color after that go to filter render and lens flares select first lens type and make sure your flare is in the center after that hit ok now go to image adjustment and hue saturation and select any color you want for your flares after that press ctrl T and make it small until it looks like a line then change blend mode to screen and if you have white color in some parts you can always go to image adjustment and levels you can adjust that here now select your brush and in the brush panel select a really soft brush and in the colors select a color similar to your flare then create a new layer and make it dot then press ctrl T to make it similar to your flare and change the blend mode to color dodge and our flare is ready you can also duplicate your lens flare and make it big horizontally to create longer streaks now select your layers and put them into a group by pressing ctrl G the flares are ready and now you can duplicate your group and use as many flares as you want anywhere you like so the final effect is ready and I hope you learned something if you like the tutorials press that like button and if you have any questions or suggestions you can ask me in the comments you can also subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and also check out all uh, these other cool text effects they are really great my name is Dhrul Modi goodbye take care and have some fun with Photoshop